Uh, uh, airfares have dropped quite significantly in the U.S. and other countries as a result of this uh, or in response to this COVID-19 pandemic. In some places, uh, air uh, prices have dropped as much as 50 percent. Now, we haven't seen that in Canada just yet, but some experts say we could see a price drop in the future. The question is, is the cheap flight worth the risk? Canadian health officials have sternly warned against cruise line travel. The Public Health Agency of Canada is recommending that Canadians avoid all cruise ship travel due to COVID-19. But not so with flights, at least not at the moment. Still, many are fearful, and to combat that, airlines in the U.S. are offering deep discounts. Round trip travel from Buffalo to Miami, $212 U.S. Buffalo to L.A., $226 U.S. And from Buffalo to Boston, just $117. We see in the U.S., we see it uh, in Europe as well, in Canada, I'm not sure. Canada is a little bit different because we tend to have a, a big major airline who has some kind of a monopoly of international routes. And so, uh, you know, they control most of the market. And as a result, they will not be uh, incentivized and, and to, 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 to go into a, a bidding war with some of the other competitors. But Frederick Demange says there's bound to be a drop of some kind. He says you can feel more comfortable flying than being on a cruise ship, but warns if you choose to fly, be mindful of the risk you could pose to others. You can con get contaminated and bring the, the virus back to your home and, and to your home community. This is a devastating time, time for the, the travel industry and for consumers in general. Richard Smart, president of the Travel Industry Council of Ontario, says they've been flooded with calls recently. Consumers wondering what their rights are when it comes to booking and cancelling trips. He says when choosing to book in uncertain times like this, it's extra important to read the fine print. There's a lot of talk these days about cancel for any reason insurance. It's not all, always all what it's made out to be. And, and a travel agent can help a consumer uh, understand um, the facts and, and what's available to them. In the meantime, airlines, suppliers and tour operators have been doing a number of goodwill gestures to minimize the financial impact on consumers. WestJet is conditionally waiving restrictions and fees for changed or cancelled travel for the month of March. Air Canada is similarly waiving fees and giving credits depending on your travel date and when a flight was booked. But these gestures will likely be short-lived and deciding to travel afterwards, Smart says, will be a risk you'll have to weigh yourself. Some of the insurers have already come out and said that now, now that coronavirus is, is, uh, is a well-known um, uh, virus and, and, and consumers should be aware of that, mm -hmm. uh, some insurers have come out and said we're not going to cover, cover that. But again, um, the, the devil's in the detail. At Pearson Airport this afternoon, most travelers saying they're willing to take the risk for a cheap flight. Basically, I definitely I would try and book something, but as long as I could cancel it uh, without any penalties. Probably we've already booked, like we've already booked. If someone was to offer us a refund, we'd be glad to have it. But yeah. uh, I guess it would depend on the time period. Like if, it, if they dropped for a while, we probably would. Well, obviously everything we do, you know, got to be clean. And then like obviously affected like group gatherings where we're going now. Yeah. So some events we were planning to go to, we can't go to anymore. Did you ever think maybe we should cancel our trip? Uh, not really. Now, if you're unsure about any aspect of what you're covered for when you travel, Richard Smart says uh, you're welcome to call Tico with your questions or you can visit their website.